Rebecca is a patient that came in and you can see she's a beautiful woman. Rebecca is the type of lady, has a type A personality. She wants to be done in two months of treatment. Uh, she doesn't want to use uh, Invisalign, but she wants brackets and wires. And so you can see when we look really closely at Rebecca's smile, here we are, we have a reverse smile. Um, she is mildly crowded slightly narrow arch forms, midline slightly off, and might be a little bit hard to show here, but you can see there's some composite that has closed some spaces between her upper ones. And um, my approach to treatment was to eliminate the composite and close the space up. So you're gonna see that here in a few minutes. Uh, if you look, she's good class one right and left, um, good overjet, overbite, She's just mildly crowded. Most importantly, we're gonna change her smile arc or smile line, and we're gonna enhance her, her gingival architecture. Widen her smile, broad, broaden her smile. So um, here she is. You can see a, a normal uh, arch forms, upper and lower, very mild crowding. If you look, she does have her eights present. That's not gonna bother me and not gonna change anything with treatment. In my practice, uh, all of my patients get a comb beam with, I use ICAP in my practice. I uh, couldn't practice without it. You can see this is the, uh, the very first appointment. You can see we put the clear brackets on. We've chosen a low torque bracket. I have uh, begin to take off the composite that was on her ones. That was there just to close up spaces from before when she didn't want braces. My protocol, again, I told you I didn't have a protocol. What I decided to do was to see her back in three weeks. So I started with 016 copper nitai. Three weeks later, I bring her back in and, and you'll see that here in a few minutes. But as you look closely here, you can notice that, uh, you know, I'm using good self ligating mechanics and I'm positioning the brackets so that I don't, um, you know, have any inefficiency in, in ruining that good class one occlusion. So you can see the torques I've picked. We've gotten, we've eliminated the composite. She comes back in at two and a half months. We're doing our panel reposition visit. So about every three to four weeks, I'm bringing her back. At two and a half months, we reposition just the upper left one. I've placed 1825s in the upper and the lower 1825 copper nitai and uh, I'm closing space. I have power chain under the wire. We're closing space. Again, seeing her back about every three to four weeks and uh, maintaining a good class one with my bracket positioning. Upper arch form, lower arch form, maintaining a beautiful arch form. Here she is. You can see the smile starting to change. Again, she's faithful. 20 minutes a day is what she's using for Excelident. <clears throat> 20 minutes a day and uh, getting our benefit. You can see at four months into treatment, I took a, a, a mirror, painted it black, put it behind so you can see the contrast. And uh, you can see that we have a few bracket position errors. We're gonna fix that. Four months of treatment, good, maintaining good class one, changing the smile arc. You can see what's happening with her smile. This is very quick treatment for me. Uh, this case would have been 12 to 14 months in my practice. At five months, I've placed my finishing wires, 1925 TMA in the upper, 1725 TMA in the lower. I'm just detailing at this point of treatment time, maintaining that good class one. She's got a beautiful smile arc. That's at five months. Here she is, uh, Rebecca at seven months of treatment time. Again, this is a case in my practice that would have been 12 to 14 months. Uh, we're treating her out in seven months treatment time. Look at that good smile smile line. The composite's been removed. Uh, we've met our goals. She made comments that she loved the Excelident. It reduced the uh, sensitivity in between or the soreness. She said it reduced the soreness. She had a beautiful result. Just seven months of treatment time. Look at the beautiful smile line. The gingival architecture looks pretty beautiful smile. This is four to five months faster than um, regular Damon uh, finishing in, in my practice. <clears throat> so 
from here, um, let me just show you. This is my normal arch wire sequencing. I start with 014 copper night time most of the time, and we go to 018, 1425, 1825, and do our panel reposition visit and our finishing wire. Now, that's a quick scenario about how we will go in and um, use our wire sequencing. I don't change my wire sequencing or my, me my mechanics with accelerated treatment. What I'm changing is treatment times in between. This gives you a little bit of, this is from my, my friend, Dr. John Graham, who practices in Salt Lake City, one of the, um, in my opinion, one of the best orthodontists in the world, who with myself, we've been um, trying to be on the forefront of accelerated treatment. And uh, this is just showing how we're 33% faster with our treatment times and uh, eliminating two to three visits. Now, if you're one like myself or Dr. Graham where we go in and we calculate um, fewer visits and we tie a money figure to visits, you think about that. At three visits, um, less visits in your treatment, you got to figure you're saving at least a thousand dollars in your practice and um, at treatment time and fewer visits. So, uh, a beautiful example. This is a patient. Just